Good morning. I just want to give a brief thought this morning. Got your Bibles. Let's go to Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. For if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I choose, I wot not. For I am in <clears throat> a straight Betwixt two, having a desire to depart and be of Christ, which is far better, nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. There's Paul actually wrestling with this issue, whether he should go on and be home with the Lord, or if he should... Uh, continue on we know paul went through a lot as a christian amen i'll just go ahead and go to second corinthians chapter 11 and read some of it amen i didn't even think about it. well anyway second corinthians chapter 11 paul said some of the things he had faced as a christian Laboring for the gospel, he said. In verse uh, 23. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more than abundant, and stripes above measure, and prisons more frequent, and deaths off. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes, save one. Thrice I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day I have been in the deep, and journeyings often, and perils of robbers, and perils of <laughs> robbers, and perils of mine own countrymen. And perils by by the heathen, and perils in the city, and perils in the wilderness, perils in the sea, and perils by false brethren, and weariness, and painfulness, and watchings often, and hunger and thirst, and fastings often, and cold nakedness, besides those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care. Of the churches you know paul i believe was pretty well tired by the time he was in the prison when he wrote to the church of philippi he probably knew any time <clears throat> he could be executed but you know what he never shown any fear and i want you to know we as christians should have that attitude I was looking through my uh, notebooks just to see what I should deal with. And this is the story I landed upon. A preacher was preaching in Kentucky against the sin of drunkenness. Some moonshiners beat him, then told him to stop preaching or they would kill him. The preacher replied, you can't threaten me with heaven. Our Hope should inspire courage. I want you to know something. I don't want to die any more than anybody else. Yes, I'll even fight death as much as I can. But you know something? I don't believe heaven's a threat. Now, I've made this decision. To always keep in mind for the me to live as Christ and die as gain. If it should ever come to that hour, God will give me grace. For the Bible says, Psalm 23, verse 4, the very verse that my mother quoted to my dad as he was passing away years ago. He had gotten saved three years earlier. and My mother, being a nurse, knew what was happening. He quote, she quoted, Yea, though I walk through the valley, at the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I'm going to say something. God will give us that grace in that hour. We shouldn't be going around being afraid of the coronavirus. We shouldn't be going around living in constant fear of this and that. You, you know, I'm, but I do, t I'll tell you what I do believe today. We should have our faith settled and grounded to where. If it comes down to it, we're not going to let things stop us from serving God. Friend, for me to live as Christ and die as a gain. But as Paul said, nevertheless, for me to abide in the to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. I have decided. Till the Lord tells me it's time, I want to be faithful doing His will. And that's the way we should all be this morning. Let's be faithful doing His will. And when it comes that time, let's make sure our hearts are right and ready. For that heavenly home. God bless you.